Hello! Today we are going to try do some tie-dye, um, which is really on trend at the moment. Um, I have a black top here. It's an old one of my dad's. He technically didn't want to give it up, but I've tried several DIYs fails today, and so we had to give another one a go. My hair bow's gone a bit crazy as well. Anyway, um, you need a t-shirt, any size. This is going to be oversized for me, I think, because it's my dad's. <laughs> Oh no, be alright. Um, and you need bleach and a bathtub and a washing machine. Um, we're just seeing if I can find a better spray bottle, not spray bottle, but like nozzle for the bleach to uh, work better. If not, we're just using the bleach that we've got, which is this Sainsbury's Thick Bleach Aqua. But I, my mum's um, gone to see if she's got a different one, one that I can use. Um, so we put this in the bath first, but we'll, um, I'm just waiting. But this is exciting. I can't wait to see the finished product myself. So because this is a, this is a wide tub, but it, the t-shirt looks better in the bath this way so I've put it all in this way so this is right sides up it does not matter if the bleach gets on the other side because you're going to do that in a minute anyway well four or five minutes um, and the bleach we're using I've just did a, uh, a quick sample in the sink just to see if I could do it correctly and I can so I've got the bleach that way up because that's the way it worked for me and you're just going to It doesn't matter how you do the pattern, it's whatever you want. Um, and you leave that to dry for about four to five minutes before you turn it over. Look, like here's going red, that's crazy, so I didn't think it would even go red before it would go white. This is it after a minute. Obviously we're leaving it to for about four minutes before we turn it over. But isn't that crazy that I didn't actually expect it to go red, but it really has. It's not even an orange, it's a red. But anyway, that's after a minute, so who knows what it'll be like after two, three more. This is it after four minutes. It must be the bleach or the dye, like the colour in the shirt that's made it go like this, which is quite cool. I'm going to turn it over now and do the other side uh, the same. It, um, it doesn't matter that it's got some on the back already because it will go through this way as well so it just adds to it. Make sure some on the sleeve. and then leave that again for four. It says five to seven minutes on that and then we'll put it in on a quick wash in the washing machine. But we'll see how, you can already see that it's going orange. So we left it seven minutes on the other side, um, on the back, and now we'll put it in for a quick wash, which is about 14 minutes long for ours, but whatever your quick wash is on your sewing machine, on your sewing machine, on your washing machine. <laughs> um, and you just put a bit of the uh, detergent stuff in the top. The wash is up, apparently we just opened the door. And there it is, we're gonna put it up on the line. So it's a couple of days later now, it's just because I uh, had to leave my mum and dad's garden to come home, so they brought it for me today. Um, this is what it looks like, I've just put it on for you. This is oversized. I'm really surprised that it's not gone like 
lighter but it's orange i actually really like it i think i prefer it better tied up um or even cut this and tie it um Yeah, I love it. It's so much better tied up. It even could go shorter if it wanted to. Um, but it's cute. I actually like the back, I think. It's slightly better than the front. Like when we've got more practice, whereas this is quite blotchy in the middle. But this is what it looks like. Um, you wouldn't even tell this was a black t-shirt now. It looks more like purpley that is how you use just normal bleach to tie dye your t-shirts whatever you want um and i hope you enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching bye